Thank you for agreeing to this interview. Can you please introduce yourself and what is your job description? My name is Leslie Guzman and I'm a medical laboratory scientist at Rio Grande Regional Hospital Laboratory. And how long have you worked as a medical technologist? I've worked there for three plus years. Um, can you please provide me with your educational background? I have a Bachelor's of Science in Clinical Laboratory Science from the University of Texas Pan American. What sort of job training did you experience? Uh, one of the things that was part of our actual program was to do our rotations in the hospitals themselves so we could have hands-on experience of what our job would be like. And what sort of certification or licensure is required to perform your job? <clears throat> We're required to take a certification exam with the American Society for Clinical Pathology. Tell me about your normal day-to-day -day job responsibilities. Uh, our normal day-to-day -day consists of establishing, performing, and evaluating laboratory results. And what that has to do with is that we process patient specimens, and then we verify the results to see if they're consistent with the patient's diagnosis. And then we also run quality control on the reagents and whatever analyzers we use to come up with those results. And we also calibrate and do any maintenance that's required, any special testing that the patient needs, and just and what sort systems. of uh, technology do you use? We actually have a lot of technology at our hands. One of the main things is our computer system. We have different middlewares that uh, allow patient testing to be done more efficiently. We have the doctors that put in their orders and then the nurses who collect the orders and then those, they send those orders to us and then we have our phlebotomists who go and collect them. And all of that is, is um, verified on the computer before it comes to us so that once we get the samples, they're run on barcodes and our analyzers are able to read them appropriately and it saves us the time of having to do manual entries. So not only do we have that computer system, then we have in the lab itself our own analyzers specific to each department. We have analyzers in chemistry that is just for the immunoassays of that kind. Then we have for hematology, microbiology, immunohematology, urinalysis, serology. Every department has its own analyzers. And uh, what sort of relationships, if any, do you have with patients? Although, for the most part, we don't have a one-on-one face-to-face with patients, we do have it through communication through our lab results. Uh, we do do wellness screens every year in which our laboratory director and a few uh, of our coworkers go and talk to uh, groups of people, most of the time it's the winter Texans that come down and we offer our wellness services and we explain to them the importance of why getting annual checkups are important to their health. And so we do do that face to face, but for the most part, it's very limited to the laboratory and those who come in. So it's your supervisor who, or your lab director who establishes the relationships for you. Yes. But you, do you all go um, draw them? We do, in fact. Um, after they talk to them and uh, see if they do, in fact, would like our services, we go ahead and go and we're the ones that collect them and talk to them face to face. And sometimes we explain the laboratory results to them in case there's anything that they don't understand. Do you ever experience any barriers when it comes to patient interactions? Well, the main one being that we don't actually see them face to face. We, while our phlebotomists do go ahead and collect uh, all those, those patients, they generally don't know the faces in the laboratory. So the actual distance would be the main barrier. And uh, what is your relationship like with your coworkers in the lab? That in fact is great. Everybody gets along great. In order to run a good laboratory, everyone has to have a lot of teamwork, a lot of respect for one another, and a lot of communication because the only way everything can run smoothly is if all the departments coexist together. And what about your relationship with other healthcare professionals like doctors or nurses? We do actually have a very large amount of communication with the rest of the hospital and the uh, doctors and nurses because of the laboratory results themselves, most of the time we need to confirm with them to make sure that it correlates not only with their diagnosis but with their symptoms. So we're constantly having to call and talk to nurses and doctors and see if either an order was put in correctly or if, any, as I said, any result 
verified with that patient's condition or if there was something that could have been done differently or if a collection was missed or anything having to do with uh, patient care. And what sort of steps do you take to ensure that your work is of high standards for the patient's well-being? Our laboratory actually has to be accredited um, to and it has to meet certain standards in order to function. We have CAP surveys uh, for, from the College of American Pathologists that they send out yearly surveys to make sure that we're running on par. So they send uh, standardized samples that we then run and make sure that the, they run as they're supposed to. We have quality control that we run every day to make sure that our instruments are running well and that everything is responding correctly. We do calibrations whenever that, that doesn't work and then we have test samples that we do and there's a, a lot of checks in place to make sure that everything is always running as it should. Do you feel safe knowing that you work with potentially infectious diseases? I actually do because everyone takes uh, very good care and there's a lot of uh, annual meetings to make sure everyone is aware of all the protective gear that is in place. We do have um, our gloves, our lab coats, uh, every, everything safety oriented to make sure that no one has, is exposed to any unnecessary pathogens or anything that they don't have to be. <clears throat> what kind of education are you required, continuing education are you required to perform? We actually have to keep up with our certification every th three years. We're required to have 12 hours of continuing education a year to, for a total of 36 for three years. And we have to turn it all into the uh, American Society of Clinical Pathology and they have to track all our hours to make sure that we are getting enough in each different department so we stay sorry. up to up to date with everything. Up to date with yeah. everything. <laughs> um, uh, what are your, uh, what sort of ethical dilemmas have you experienced on the job? Unfortunately, there are a lot of cases where um, there are a lot of ethical dilemmas only because sometimes it'll happen that a nurse will mislabel a sample or a phlebotomist will mislabel or, <clears throat> in, at, or any specific way that there's a mislabel or something's done, maybe a different patient is collected than it should have been or a wrong test is ordered and sometimes you'll have either a doctor or a nurse calling insisting, no, 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 this was collected on this patient, please run this, please release these results under this patient. And if we don't have any concrete evidence to state that, oh no, this specimen does in fact go to this patient, we can't release that. And there's been a lot of times that we've had to refuse um, doctors and nurses. What do you like most and what do you like least about your job? What I like most, most definitely, is my coworkers. Everyone, as I said, is such a great team. We all work together. Everyone helps one another and we make sure that the laboratory is a fun but very quality oriented environment. What I like least would have to be that, well, since a hospital is open 24 hours a day, you know, 365 days a year, we do have to work holidays and weekends. And although that takes away time from our own families, we do it because we like the work. And we like to help people. Thank you.